The action heats up as the Phillies battle the Houston Astros live from the Astrodome Thursday at 8.30 and Sunday at 3 on WTAF TV 29 Philadelphia. Join the team! The Phillies battle the spirited St. Louis Cardinals live from Bush Stadium tonight at 8.30 on TV 29. The Cardinals' fiery offense gears up with ex-Philly Lonnie Smith and the dangerous and heavy-hitting George Hendricks. Plus, bullpen back up from strong-arm Bruce Suter. The Phillies want to stay close to the top in the East. The offense is hot and the defense is back on track. Watch it. The Phillies and the St. Louis Cardinals tonight at 8.30 on TV 29. Phillies 84. The Phillies tangle with the San Francisco Giants live from the vet, Sunday at 1.30 on WTAF-TV, Philadelphia. Join the team! The Phillies battle the San Francisco Giants in the final game of the weekend series live from the vet, Sunday at 1.30 on TV-29. Giant skipper Danny Ozark leads a rebuilt San Francisco team. The offense is sparked by Chili Davis and Manny Trio. The Phillies play hard on the counterattack as the race for first in the East continues to heat up. Don't miss it. The Phillies and the Giants, live from the vet, Sunday at 1.30 on TV 29. Phillies 84. Phillies 85 on TV 29. So I, I must have started when I was three years old, somewhere in there. Started throwing the ball around. First started thinking about playing baseball. I guess when I started going to the ballpark with my dad, and, uh, he was playing at the time. When I first played it, I was seven years old. It just hit me right then. You know, I, I loved it. I wanted to play. First televised game Saturday, March 30th at 1.30 on TV 29. The action heats up as the Phillies take on the first place New York Mets. Live from the vet today at 1.30 on WTAF TV 29, Philadelphia. Win a million dollars on the Phillies. Enter the cash stream million dollar inning right here on TV 29. It's easy to play. Just pick up an entry blank at any participating cash stream location or mail a postcard to this address. Cash stream million dollar inning, post office box 2169 Westchester. In every televised Phillies game, watch for the cash stream million dollar inning. If your name is drawn, it's your chance to win. When a Philly hits a home run in the designated inning, you win $1,000 or more. If it's a grand slam, you win a million. So watch the Phillies on TV 29 and catch the cash stream million dollar inning. You're key to win. No purchase necessary. The Phillies take on the Montreal Expos live from Veteran Stadium, Sunday at 1.30 on WTAF TV 29, Philadelphia. Join the, team. the Phillies meet the Montreal Expos live from the vet, Sunday at 1.30 on TV 29. Fiery speedster Juan Samuel wants to race toward the Rookie of the Year crown. Slugger Ozzy Virgil blocks the plate and ignites the offense with his bat. Heavy hitters Gary Carter and Andre Dawson highlight a potent Montreal attack. Baseball at its best. The Phillies and the Montreal Expos, Sunday at 1.30 on TV 29. Phillies 84. He's got the bases loaded, the pitchers run up. You can feel the magic in the air. Once if he hits the long one, press them all the way. You can be an instant millionaire. The Mellon Million Dollar Innings here, and it's easy to win. Just pick up your entry blank at any Mellon Bank location and mail it to Mellon Million Dollar Inning, Post Office Box 558, Lowell, Indiana. Then watch the Phillies on TV 29. Your chance to win a million could be just a swing away. Juan Samuel, Von Hayes, Jeff Stone, the Phillies base burners. Last year, they totaled a club record 147 steals. This year, every time the Phillies steals a base during a Phillies telecast, you can win running shoes, Phillies tickets, Roy Rogers gift certificates. Just pick up an entry blank at any participating Roy Rogers and mail it to WTAF-TV's Roy Rogers Base Burner, Box 798, King of Prussia. It's a steal. WTAF-TV is currently airing a contest with cash prizes ranging upward from $1,000. Employees of Taft Broadcasting participating Mellon Bank financial institutions, the Phillies, their advertising agencies, and immediate families are not eligible. The contest runs April 12, 1985 through October 6, 1985. Contestants are asked to fill out an official entry blank at any Mellon Bank location or to mail an entry blank to Mellon Million Dollar Inning. Names of contestants will be drawn at random and verified by Ventura Associates International. Winners will be announced during Phillies telecast and notified by mail. Offer void where prohibited, no purchase necessary. Hi, I'm Steve Jelts of the Phillies. Why don't you step out on Sunday, April 28th, the March of Dimes Superwalk, sponsored by the Sons of Italy. Join the spirit and help stop our number one child health problem, birth defects. Walks are scheduled throughout the Delaware Valley. Call 972-0866.
take the field, we use the best equipment possible. So when I get in my car, I use the best equipment available. Seat belts save lives. WTAF-TV is currently airing a contest with running shoes, Phillies tickets, and Roy Rogers gift certificates as prizes. Employees of Taft Broadcasting, participating Roy Rogers restaurants, the Phillies, their advertising agencies, and immediate families are not eligible. The contest runs April 12th through October 3rd, midnight. Contestants are asked to fill out an official entry blank at Roy Rogers and to mail it or a postcard to WTAF-TV Roy Rogers Base Burner Contest, King of Prussia, PA. Winners are drawn at random, announced during Phillies telecast, and notified by mail. You know, on any given night, anybody can do something. You never know what's going to happen. That's why it's a great game it is. Phillies versus Pirates, Sunday at 1.30 on TV 29. Join the team. This camp is really an upbeat camp. Now, I don't know whether that's because of the new manager, John Felski. I think he certainly has had something to do with it. We have some veteran players. On the other hand, we have some young kids developing. And they're always refreshing. I will be very surprised if this club is not 1-2 this season. Phillies versus the Houston Astros, Friday at 8.30 on TV 29. Here's Mike Schmidt for Ranch Hope for Boys. Ranch Hope for Boys in Alloway, New Jersey has been helping troubled young men for over 20 years. You know it's great to be named MVP, most valuable player, on a baseball team, but there's another kind of MVP, some most valuable people, the boys of Ranch Hope. At Ranch Hope, they're given a new at-bat in life. Please support the Reverend David Bailey and his Ranch Hope for Boys. Thanks, Mike. That's Ranch Hope, Alloway, New Jersey. Phillies 85 on TV 29. I want to come out. I want to have a good season. I hope your team has a good season. And uh, I think we can wind up in the World Series and be a winner. And if you win, mm, it's sweet. Oh, we can go all the way. There ain't no doubt about that. I mean, we got a good ball club as anybody. Well, my goal is to, is to be a starting pitcher all year this year, and um, I'd like to see if I could win 14 games. I'd like to be right here with the Phillies and uh, be a starting pitcher. I think a lesson last year that we learned that, uh, you know, we've got to pull together as a team, and I, and I think, uh, I feel like I've seen it this spring already, which is really a good sign. To help us win, uh our, our uh, pennant and uh, getting in the World Series, uh, that's probably the goal of every one of the guys on our team. Philly's first televised game, Saturday, March 30th at 1.30 on WTAF TV 29. Philly's 86 on TV 29. Phillies who push to the limit. I try to go as hard as I can at them and, and really do my best to get them out. Marlins like to run, be aggressive. I think that's a part of the game I enjoy more. You know, when you really juice one, it's, a, it's really a good feeling. Um, feels strong, feels like you can do anything. These Phillies play tough against the San Diego Padres Sunday at 1.30 on TV 29. Tonight on the 10 o'clock news, Mayor Good holds a news conference to announce his plans for solving the city's trash crisis. After much speculation, Lefty has been let go. Howard Eskin looks back at the spectacular career of Steve Carlton. And Charles Thomas reports on a growing problem, AIDS victims who are avoiding being tested for fear of discrimination. These stories and more tonight on the 10 o'clock news.